Hi, this is James Scout, Born the Buy. In this episode, we're going to be doing an unboxing of Seize the Bean by Quality Beast, created by Dylan Cromwell. It's one to four players, it takes about 69 minutes to play, ages 13 and up. This, I finally got it. This has been five years in waiting. There's a Kickstarter about five years ago. I did a, um, a partial Kickstarter where you, know, you kind of follow them. And this has been, I gotta say, Dylan is, must have done a, a labor of love because I've been watching the process of them creating this game and, and taking the steps of getting here. And the quality that they put into this and the, the details, it just it blew my mind. And as much as you, I want, kept wanting the game to come out, it was one of those ones of, wow, that's cool, but I want the game. But yeah, that's cool. Keep you know, keep doing that. So uh, I, I'm really excited on this one. I, I've been, like I said, five years waiting for this. So uh, I got the the base game, the five to six player expansion, and the, they got some little little mini mini expansions. And we'll just go ahead and, and look at them all. What what you get? So first off, it comes in this real nice box, matte finish, a lot of good art around it. All right, start off with the, let's see here, we got the drink menu or the rule book, very thick rule book, uh, 34 pages, uh, let's look at it. So good component list. Always great to have set up. First player in turn order. <coughs> so it looks like it's a real well written rule book. Now that I do know that it is available on PDF online, I have look through it as the process went and uh, it's it's really nicely done takes you gives good examples that's nice oh yeah that definitely with a explain the different abilities additional icons and then all the credits all the different icons all right and then the snack menu this is for the expansions. So, as I got these extra little expansions in this book, will give you all the different rules for all the different expansions on that. And the five to six player uh, rules are in here. So, if you want to look at them ahead of time before you get it, um, but if you got, I, I'd probably recommend getting getting it all together different customer abilities going down oh yeah this is real a lot of detail a lot a lot of work went into this this expansion one is another 54 pages so two thick big old rule books okay now this is pretty neat <coughs> I like the fact that they actually had where the different people could get their name on these tweets so as you do serve the customers you can they can give good reviews like tweets or bad reviews and they they give them so your customer can give you this a good review and this is written by um, I believe I believe they're done by the Kickstarters uh, one of the levels you can get your name in in your review and they have of course you have your bad ones let's punch out oh they punch out nice and easy some good thick cardboard. It's nice. I like I like uh, I like when they punch out like that. That's that's good. You don't have to less likely for anything to rip or anything. And then another sheet. Some more reviews. And some more reviews. I guess 
these are the I guess for point trackers and stuff all right yeah. and I guess these are some stickers a bunch, oh, bunch of stickers okay so we got I guess these are um, I, ma I imagine there's some type of thing because it shows the sugar cubes, the solo cars, the quality. So this must be to keep to keep track of everything. And uh, I guess there's little meeples and all that. You can got you got your little bikinis and thongs <laughs> and your little symbols. You got your rainbow. Your your little symbol there. There's symbol for quality beasts. This is a little. Uh, uh, I think it's either a fox or. A, Red Panda, I'm not too sure. And uh, yeah, there it is. You can you can dress your your little meeples on however you want. And it is done in Germany, so of course they got the German flag. Okay, these are the player boards, and I don't know if you can tell or not, but they 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 are dual layered, so you have where the stuff will sit down in here which is always nice for for those of you that, that like the bump the table or it's uh there is a spot where it locks in and all these all have little spots so that's nice oh and in the back i guess you got your different uh places and i i would imagine i don't don't recognize this but these are supposed to be I believe these are uh, all different I imagine famous coffee houses around Berlin you give a little background and everything all right so those are those all right we'll look at when I gotta look at all the cars there's just there is a lot let's uh, give an idea of the cars in this game These are the amount of cards that come with the game. So you have your customers, such as these. We'll look at some customers. And I don't know all the all of it yet, but this is what you need to, to serve them and different requirements and such so to say the least there is a lot of variety so we have all these different customers and then uh hey there we go we got our cosplayer we got our collector that's me showing up all collecting all my games double sleever we all know the double sleever the rules lawyer the game the game night hostess the miniature painter that used to be me I haven't done that in a while the board game cafe owner the board game translator board game manufacturer no, I know a few of those. Bar game publisher, know a few of those. That's pretty neat. And then these are, I believe, upgrades. So that on your board, you, as you your supplies, you upgrade as you go. And then when you move your meeple here, you get these supplies. It's, uh, it's a fantastic design. Uh, when I looked at it and. And I know over the years they just kept refining it. And as you have the different upgrades, so here's some more. And I know I apologize to the designers if, I, if I'm, I'm, I'm referring to upgrades as you have some other term for it, but more or less this is how you upgrade your, your different, your, your coffee shop. So again, on this side, and then as you go, you keep, <coughs> excuse me, you keep adding and adding so that that location of going across will give more and more resources. Uh, I love, I love engine builders like that. So we have a whole stack of different things to 
upgrade their store. So apparently this is like a uh, sentient uh, napkin holder, a voice activated chairs, dark lighting. So I guess these are all, these are all different upgrades to your store itself that, that will be on this side. A shrine to a local hero. All right, and then these look like they go on the other side. So these must be your the upgrade to your products that you have available. And I will say, I, I do really like the fact that these card sleeves actually unwrap pretty easy. If you notice they. Uh, most of the time, those those little strings don't don't work too well. These do. Ah, static. All right. So these will be the other side. Uh, and so I guess that'd be your products like elaborate cake <laughs> and colba and sugar cube dice. So you got all those, and then there's some more for the other side. So all these appear that they're upgrades for your store on either side, your supplies, a bunch more customers. So these look like these are all customers. So uh, a large amount of customers and got a little cardboard insert. So it appears that these are all sit down in there. <laughs> this is a neat little, uh, believe it or not, it's a little coffee uh, a little scoop they had while they were uh, kick um, not kickstarting but uh, developing the game they put these little this little scoops in the game to help with picking up the coffee beans just as just something to help and it ended up being part of the game because people enjoyed it so much and wow these are unbelievably realistic looking. Let me, uh, these coffee beans. I don't know how well they'll show up, but they are a, a perfect copies of coffee, roasted coffee beans. That that is incredibly impressive. They, I have watched the development. Like I said, they were so particular on it. They we had. I remember seeing one of the updates with these on these sugar cubes, where you're looking at it going, it, it's they're being so particular on sugar cubes, but they that was the quality they they had looked at was whether or not they had a whole lineup of various different production samples and they were like we're going to go with this one you know these are the ones they got but this one's a little yellowish this one's a little too uh, orange and this one but this one's too white but this kind of off-white is perfect and this is the, the type of sugar and it just blew me away it's like hurry up and get the game out but wow i i just i just blew my mind of the uh, how realistic they were going for and here here's a, even the uh little brown sugar cubes so you got your white sugar you got your brown sugar you got some uh green coffee beans so you got your roasted ones and then you got your your little milk cartons let's uh open these up Wow, these, these actually got a little weight to them there. It's like I even got the little little white Mario, Mario cartons, and you can see they got the little indention in there. I mean, these are a, a perfect representation. And then you got your you got your chocolate milk. So, and then of course we got our meeples. I'm sorry if I'm gushing so much, but uh, like I said, I had been really waiting. So here's some, uh, here's your different meeples for each of the players. Each one's gonna have their their two. 
All right, so more coffee boy, coffee bean. A bunch, and I do mean a bunch of baggies. So it should be more than enough baggies to bag everything up. We'll just check underneath. No, okay, nothing underneath. All right, so that's all oh, that's in there. Oh, I'm gonna have fun sorting all that. Now they do have an upgrade. I didn't get the upgrade, which now I'm kicking myself. I'm probably end up having to get is they got like these the the little uh, bags, the little burlap bags to hold hold the the different ones. I guess I'm gonna have to get those or because uh, now now that I've seen these, it's definitely something that that I want. Okay, I guess we'll look at these and. This is the board game media uh, expansion. So I would imagine these are gonna have board game record, oops, let me, Fluff and Crunch, Hunter and Cron, Ant Lab Games, Rondo, Slicker Deeps, Heavy Cardboard, all right, Susan, what's Eric playing? The Milk of Truth prototype. So you got some various different uh, uh, YouTube, or, you know, game reviewers, Soprano Macaroons. So we have the different. Uh, <laughs> That's how uh, pretty much look like uh, uh, one of my setups. And uh, gaming magazines and random furniture. So that that's in the board game. Uh, expansion so we'll go ahead and put that over here okay now this one is the city celebrities 13 cards and uh, my guess is is probably Penny Parker flock art purple sloth dask uh, I imagine these are uh, obviously, and Gooby, you know, the little, little pan. All right, and then a little bag is the Quality Beasts customer expansion. And, and this is Josh. And so I would imagine these are probably some type of Kickstarter or, or some type of. Uh, like I said, uh, customer ones, and then some more. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is red panda because there's a red panda pie. So the plushie. Yeah, I've been thinking about actually getting that little plushie. They actually have the little uh, little stuffed animal. And that's in the base game and the little expansions. And let's go ahead and do a quick look at what's in this five to six player expansion. If James can get it open. All right. So, all right. Well, obviously, you're going to need two more boards. So, two more expansion boards. And I imagine they have their own little, yeah, some, some other coffee places. So, we have our six boards. <coughs> Some additional sugar cubes and some additional meeples and some uh, additional milk cartons. I guess there's plenty of beans. And it looks like a few extra cards in here. So, oh, it looks like uh, some extra little character cards. And our customers, just to say. So I'll put that in here with these. And that's everything that comes with Seize the Bean. So I can't wait to get everything unwrapped and sorted and uh, into play. Um, but this looks like it's going to be a fantastic game. The, the quality on, on these, I guess, being Quality Beast, it's the name name's appropriate. So this is James Scott, Born the Bayou. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe below. Thank you.